सो हे एवरी वन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज़ अवनीश एंड दिस वीडियो इज़ गोना बी जस्ट अनदर स्टडी ब्लॉग सो बेसिकली दिस ब्लॉग वॉज लाइक शॉर्ट टू डेज बिफोर माई प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट दिस इज़ गोना बी माई फर्स्ट एवर कोचिंग टेस्ट ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ सो आई वॉज लाइक प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर इट बट दिस टाइम आई वॉज ऑलरेडी डन विद फिजिक्स एंड केमिस्ट्री सो माई मेन गोल वॉज टू एक्चुअली लाइक डू बायोलॉजी and in bio the syllabus was reproduction in organisms in zoology and botany and human reproduction till male reproductive part in zoology which was not so that difficult so yeah so without further ado let's just get started with our vlog so currently it's around 9:32 and uh, i'm starting with my ncert reading and uh, i have to start with the first ever chapter it's going to be a lengthy time lapse because i have to like use both my botany and zoology modules to actually cover the chapter because this chapter is given in both botany and zoology perspective hence to annotate this chapter and write the extra points i need to refer the like both the modules side by side which is going to be very time consuming so i'm assuming by that time i'll talk to you guys about a lot of things which i need to tell you so let's start so the first question which most of you have been asking me recently is like how am i planning to cover my class 11th world along with 12th so i want to clear out a few things about that number one that my class 11th was almost wasted not wasted i would say i would say that i do not have a proper revision of it my botany like biology is still strong enough my chemistry is okay my physics is also okay i just need extensive practice of that like my theory is strong but i don't think so i'm very strong in questions part and since i'm not that strong in questions part i definitely think that i have forgotten almost every theory so i need to overall restart my 11th revision properly i have to make new physics notes as well because my physics notes of 11th aren't that great and uh, my teacher of physics which i got in 11th wasn't that good this year i've got really good teacher which i'm glad so i have to like restart physics 11th all again um so my plan is to complete that on weekends and wednesdays but of course my priority right now is 12th so whenever i get time then only i'll be going on with 11th and the way i'm starting with my 11th is like according to the chapters which are going in my coaching for example right now we are doing electrostatics there are hardly any chapters which are more or less related except the basic maths like vectors and all which i'm just revising right now in chemistry like we did solid state and then we will be doing solutions both the chapters are somehow related with mole concept chapter first ever chapter of chemistry and the states of matter chapter so i'm planning to revise both of them in zoology like we are doing human reproduction there is no chapter which is related sexual reproduction flowering plants we can say that morphology is a bit related so i'm going to revise those chapters of 11th which are more or less related in my 12th that's going to actually help me both in 11th and 12th and would also at the end cover my 11th slowly and slowly so the next question which many of you asked me was like about my daily schedule so about my daily schedule it's like not at all permanent it just keeps changing really really frequently i'll just give you a general view like from monday tuesday and uh, thursday and friday i have my akash classes like my coaching classes so i have to go to my coaching and i don't go to school these days on wednesday i go to my school because i don't have my classes and saturday neither i have my school nor i have my classes and on sunday i have my like extra classes of my coaching that is in the morning so i have to go there and i accordingly plan out my day every day and not every day is going to be productive for me and not every day is i am able to tick down all the stuff which i wanted to do in my to do list so definitely it's not a permanent schedule it just keeps changing depending about my energy level my productivity level my mood so that is the thing next question which many of you asked me was when do i usually wake up i have been trying to wake up early recently like around 4 o'clock but what i have been able to do is only 6 o'clock last time i woke up at 4 o'clock was when i was preparing for my 11th exams and after that i just lost the habit to wake up early unfortunately but i guess i'll just try i'll try my best to wake up early because that's really important um because i want to be a morning person i sleep at around 12 o'clock after coming back from my coaching my i come back from my coaching at around 
नाइन ओ क्लॉक एग्जैक्टली एट होम आई एम रेडी सो इट टेक्स मी थ्री आवर्स टू एटलीस्ट एल स्टडी एंड लाइक रिव्यू एवरी थिंग वॉट वॉज डन द कोचिंग सो दैट्स वाई आई हैव टू स्लीप एट ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक दैट इज़ वाई थिंक लाइक वेकिंग अप एट सिक्स ओ क्लॉक इज़ नॉट एट ऑल अ बैड आइडिया सो आई हैव बीन वेकिंग अप एट सिक्स ओ क्लॉक इन द मॉर्निंग राइट नाउ सो या नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच मैनी ऑफ यू आज मी अबाउट हाउ आई एम कंसिस्टेंट अबाउट दैट आई एल जस्ट से दैट यू आर आस्किंग द रॉन्ग पर्सन द क्वेश्चन बिकॉज आई एम नॉट कंसिस्टेंट एट ऑल आई विल बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट विद यू गैज इन सेवन डेज अ वीक द मोस्ट प्रोडक्टिव डेज वुड बी हार्डली थ्री द मिडियोकर प्रोडक्टिव डेज वुड बी द रिमेनिंग फोर डेज आई एम कंसिस्टेंट इन लाइक स्टडिंग एटलीस्ट वन आर एवरी डे दैट इज़ माई प्राइमरी रोल की कुछ नहीं तो कम से कम एक घंटे तो पढ़ाई हो जानी चाहिए बिकॉज दैट जज नॉट दैट डज जस्ट डज नॉट ब्रेक योर फ्लो ऑफ स्टडिंग विच इज़ रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट सो दिस If you are having a cons, if you are like planning to, like maintain a consistency of six to start six to seven hours studying every day, that is gonna be just so difficult for me. At least it's gonna be so difficult. So at least give yourself a target that if you are having a low day or a very unproductive day, just study a minimum amount of hours that can at least keep your flow going and you don't break the chain of studying. That should that is what consistency means. That is what consistency means. So that is the thing. and uh, also a lot of us about focus i believe you sh- we all have a retention span ki itne der tak hum sab baith ke aaram se pad sakte hain for me that retention span is around 90 minutes like for one and a half hour i can easily have a sitting uske baad main burn out hone shuru ho jata hu so sabka apna apna retention time hota hai ki how much time they can sit on the table or sit down and study you calculate your retention time and plan out your day accordingly it's going to really help you in focusing and overall sitting sitting down for long hours i am also trying to improve this retention span to around 3 hours so that in during the examinations because our because at the end our examination is going to be at 3 hours so it's very important for us to have at least a sitting of 3 hours every day so let's try to just improve whatever our attention time is for me it's 90 minutes i'll try to make it 3 hours for you it's 1 hour you try to make it 3 hours at the end our primary goal is to make our retention like improve our time of sitting and as we improve our time of sitting our focus would automatically get improved so now most of us would have already started with their class 12th and uh, most of us would have uh, would be looking for a batch which can cover their entire class 12th syllabus with the top teachers so for that only sankal parat has brought you the proton neat and proton je batch which is the most affordable batch of india for je and neat including the top teachers who will be teaching you like let me tell you about the teachers like we have tarun sir and uh, md sir who is the king in botany and zoology then we have survey sir and uh, vt sir the king of physical chemistry and in organic chemistry we also have aditya anand sir who will be teaching you physics one of the top teachers we also have msm sir who is like also known as the math papa for all those j aspirants out there overall this batch is like the best batch because not only will it help you to cover the syllabus but also will get you selected in the examination this complete course will be accessible to all students and they need 2024 exams it will also come with test papers like there would be 24 five plus mock tests including sectional and full length test there would be daily quizzes there would be scheduled tests according to planner and ncert line by line coverage would be taken taking place overall this batch is better than most of the batches out there in the market for a lot of reasons which you can already see on the screen so what are you guys waiting for guys download their app right now and buy their app and start your class 12 preparation with sankal bharat
so guys i just had my first ever test of class 12th and it went very good not i'll not say very good i'll say good because i messed up chemistry a lot chemistry did brutally murdered me in the exam because i was not prepared for chemistry that much like aaj mera test tha to maine subah se revision start kiya tha chemistry ka so utni achhi revision nahi hui so i also did mess up in botany or zoology a bit like i did not learn these database questions and example examples maine learn kiye the par main bhul gaya pata nahi exam mein kaise so what i have learned from this examination is that i will be a bit more prepared in advance like i have another test coming up after two weeks so i will be preparing it for like after one one week in prior to it so that i perform good marks currently i am expecting like it's a 240 marks paper so above 200 I would definitely would have got like eight questions wrong. So yeah. By the way, currently it's nine o'clock at night, and I guess I'll just sleep right now because I'm really tired, and I'll wake up early in the morning. Hopefully.